Welcome back. This is Lesson 7.4 Journal. Identify parts of an algebraic expression. So I will be able to identify the parts of an algebraic expression and use them to understand any expression. So we got some more vocabulary words. You will need also the chapter seven vocabulary sheets. Vocabulary for this lesson, variable, we've already learned about that. That's when we use a letter to represent an unknown value. An algebraic expression is turning everything into math language using variables, numbers, and operations. Terms, that is going to be a new one for us. So pull out, it's at the bottom of the first page. So terms. Terms are parts of an algebraic expression Actually, sorry, let's just make that expression Parts of an expression, it doesn't have to be algebraic Separated by plus or minus signs so looking at an expression, anything that is separated by plus or minus signs would be considered a term. Okay, the next vocabulary word we're going to talk about are coefficients. So that will be at the top of the next page. A coefficient is a number being multiplied to a variable. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is a constant. It is a number without a variable. Okay, it never changes. That's why it's called a constant. So whether or not the variable changes, that one will not change. Okay, and last one is the like terms. Like terms are terms with the same exact variables. Okay, they're able to add and subtract with them. All right, so knowing that, let's go back and look at an algebraic expression. So here's a very long one. If I were looking for terms, how many terms are in this expression? Remember a term is anything separated by plus or minus signs. So here, there's one, two, see how 12b and 7x are separated by a plus sign? So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six terms in this expression. So if we list them, then we have 12b, 7x, 13y, 4, and 6b. So how many coefficients are in this expression? For every variable you see, there is, an, there is a coefficient. So here we have 12 with b, so there's 1, 2, 3, Four. There's four variables, so there are going to be four coefficients. So if we list all the coefficients, 12 is a coefficient. Notice I'm not saying 12b. 12 is a coefficient. It's the number being multiplied to b. 12b is the entire term, but 12 is a coefficient. 7 is a coefficient. Now some of you might be like, wait, there's nothing there. Every time you have a variable, you have a coefficient. How many y's do we have here? We have one. You don't have to write one times y, but you can. So the coefficient of that is actually one. One y. And then six, because there are six b's. 
How many constants are in this expression? We have 13 and we have 4. So there are two coefficients. 13 has no variable and 4 has no variable. Are there any like terms? If so, list them. Like terms mean they have the same exact variable. I see 12b and 6b. So yes, there are like terms. We have 12b and 6b. We also have 13 and 4. Why are these like terms? They have the same variable. What variable do they have? No variable. So both constants are also like terms. Okay, let's try this one. How many terms are in this expression? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those, there are 5 items separated by plus or minus signs. So if we list them, we have 5x, 3y, b, 3x squared, and 8n. How many coefficients are in this expression? A number being multiplied to a variable, remember if there's a variable, there's a coefficient. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The coefficient on the first one is 5. The coefficient on the second one is 3. What's the coefficient on B? 1. The coefficient on 3 or 3x squared is 3 and 8. So how many constants are in this expression? Constants have no variable on them. So in this case there are none. Zero. Are there any like terms? So looking up here we're looking for things that share the same exact variable. Ooh, I have x and x squared. But I want you to realize that's different. x squared means x times x. This is just x. So would it be the same to put x's and x times x's together? There are not any like terms. None of these can be put together. So down here it says write two different expressions that both have a coefficient of 4 and 3 terms. I'm going to do one, you do the other one on your own. So. I need a coefficient of 4 and 3 terms, so I can come up with anything. Coefficient of 4 means 4 times a variable, so I'm going to say 4b. <coughs> That's only one term, so I can add anything else I want to. How about I add 7z and minus 3. I have three things being separated by plus or minus signs, and I have something with a coefficient of 4. That satisfies everything it says there. <coughs> so you write a different expression over here that has those things on it, but it's different from this one. Write two different expressions that have at least two sets of like terms and one constant. I need two sets of like terms, so how about, and I need one constant, meaning I need one thing without a variable. At least, so I can have more than that. So if I want two sets of like terms, how about 2m plus 8m plus 4, there's a constant, 8m and 2m can be like terms, minus 2x plus x minus 3m. Oh look, there's a set, I can have more than two that are like terms also x's are like terms, all these m's are like terms. So there's two sets of like terms and there's one constant in there. Make up your own over here. Let's try this one, right? Two different expressions that have no like terms and use the coefficients 2, 4, and 1. So coefficient means it's a number multiplied to a variable. So 2 times any variable, what do we want to use? 2 times g there's one with a coefficient, 
they want no like terms. That means they gotta have different variables. So how about plus g to the third power? That is different than g. And what's my coefficient here? It's not three, it'd be one. Do I have to write a one there though? Nope. Plus anything else with a coefficient of four? Four c. There are a bazillion different ways you can meet this. I want you to come up with your own here. When you're done, take a picture and rate yourself a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 and post it to Google Classroom.